Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a software compressor and set it up in Windows. What this enables you to do is to lower harsh volume from games that are poorly optimized sound-wise like PUBG and Squad. What this does is, is it lowers the difference between explosions, gunshots, etc. and quieter noises. What I'm showing you will work in any game and any Windows application. Alright, in order to do this you need two pieces of free software. I've got links in the description below to help you out. The first thing is, is Virtual Audio Cable, abbreviated VAC. And what this does is, is it adds inputs into Windows that really aren't there. So I've got the premium version, so I've got the basic Virtual Audio Cable input here, and I've also got A and B. And these aren't physical devices, this is just software. So all you need to do is download and install this, restart as you're prompted. You may need to do it after the audio cable and before the next piece of software too. The next piece of software is called Voice Meter or Voice Meter Banana. What Voice Meter is, is you can see it's a, like a very simplified mixer. I'd recommend you go to Voice Meter Banana in case you want to do anything more complicated. It has all the functionality of the basic Voice Meter and a lot more. So if you ever need to, you know, grow, you don't need to reinstall anything. So same thing as before, Voice Meter Banana is free. Just download and install it, and if it prompts you to restart, restart your computer. All right, so after both applications are installed, hit the Windows key and just type sound and hit enter, and you'll open up your sound menu for your devices. The first tab is the playback device, which you'll have defaultly set to your speakers or your headphones. So I'll just show, I've got some royalty-free music here. You know, it plays, yay. What I've now got because of this utility I installed, if you get the premium version of Virtual Audio Cable that costs about $5, you get two extra inputs. Otherwise, you just have your one input. Now, I'm going to use my Virtual Audio Cable compressed input because I've already set this up beforehand. Um, the title was defaultly something else. I highly recommend you set the input name so that you remember what it is. So rename it to Compressed Input and then go to your Recording tab and do something similar. You've got your mic, which you want to have set up as your default. Don't mess with that, but rename the corresponding colored cable and corresponding lettered cable to compressed output. And I just put VAC A because it's virtual audio cable A. And that's all you do in the sound menu. So now you can close this. So now you open up voice meter, which you can just run the shortcut or type voice and hit enter. And now I've got this. I've already got this set up, so let me zero this out so you can see it from scratch. And I do acknowledge that this piece of software is kind of intimidating, but don't worry, I'll, I'll walk you through step by step what you need to do. So hardware input one, this is what we're drawing into the program that functions as kind of a digital soundboard. So go to WDM and compressed output. And again, under my recording tab right here, I've got my compressed output, again, corresponding to the compressed input, which is now set as default and I'm going to bring compressed input here. Now the tricky part of this is, is uh, there's wiring diagrams on the website that are kind of convoluted, but if you go over to the right panel, you've got your outs. So I'm gonna select my speakers and then my headphones because I have two separate devices. And now this is what's a little bit tricky with the program. The, um, you can't see how I'm moving my hands. <laughs> you see the five sliders on the right side of the program. The left three are the physical, as labeled here. The right two are the virtual. So whatever you check in A1, 2, and 3 is what devices it's outputting to. I'm using speakers and headphones, so I want both A1 and A2 to be checked. B1 and B2 are virtual. I'm just going to leave those checked in the event that I need to use those. If I do need to use those outputs, if I scroll down in the sound recording tab again, I've got voice meter uh, output, which is uh, B1 and voice meter aux output, which is B2. And this is useful if you want to do more complicated things like a stream uh, capture in OBS and use multi-channel audio recording. Uh, beyond what we're doing in this tutorial, I will have another tutorial explaining how to do that that I'm going to post in a couple weeks. Now let me open up my music again. So you see, see if I can get this all on screen. So now I'm looping the fake sound input as a default through the fake sound output. The fake output is going into voice meter banana, and then it is routing through the real hardware outputs here. So when I hit play, you'll see the uh, decibel audio meter going up and down here, and you can see it's going up and down here. 
uh, just for the sake of a real quick tip. These are overall volume controls in this program. Double click to reset it. I've got my speakers set up to output less volume than my headphones because my headphones are touchy, but that's neither here nor there. You're here for a compressor tutorial. The really nice part about this program is there's a compressor and a gate knob. Don't really worry about gating for the sake of a just entry level tutorial. So watch what happens when I adjust the compressor knob. In voice meter, it goes from zero to 10. So the volume of the output goes up. So just FYI, when you adjust this, everything's gonna jump up a little bit. But what is a compressor really doing? If you're unfamiliar with an audio compressor, what it does is, is it takes the waveform and you set a threshold. It essentially pushes down everything below that threshold to normalize the volume. So for example, if you had some things that were uh, negative 30 decibels and zero decibels, it'll take that difference. And if you were to apply a 50% compressor and kind of lower that max amplitude. So what it does is, is it, bring, it brings everything closer to one another. Specifically for PUBG, it will bring the volume of gunshots way, way down so that you're not deafening yourself anymore and you can still hear footsteps. And just FYI, this doesn't just apply to your game. While you have this on, this will apply to everything. And when you have a compressor running, it does decrease the quality of the audio a bit. So if you're listening to music or really doing anything else but your game, you wanna grab the compressor knob, and just drag it to zero. Alternatively, you can double click on it to set it to zero and that'll be off. And then when you go to fire up your game, just set it to one and a half or whatever you're looking for and go ahead and play as normal. For games, I like a compressor setting between one and two. I did a whole PUBG sound level test and gathered a bunch of data. I'm gonna show that in another video, which I'll link above. That'll be up in about a week or so. And that will show you a bunch of different guns fired side by side in game, along with some other sound effects and the comparison for what each level of the compressor does. So you can see exactly uh, how many decibels are removed by each uh, setting in voice meter. And as one final tip, because this isn't too bad with voice meter, but you, if you set this up for streaming, it can be a lot of settings. You can go up to menu and save settings to save your preferences, or you can just do a screenshots, your own video to show everything that's checked and how it's set up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. Anyways, keep an eye out for future PUBG videos. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the compressor settings to meet your ideal play style. And then I'm also gonna show you a video on how to set up Voice Meter Banana to properly stream an OBS, or I should say record an OBS to you know separate audio tracks, including a compressed track, which was a little bit of finagling to do. But now I can record, stream, etc., everything, and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for that in the next coming weeks. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I like to make videos about guns, gaming, and gadgets. Subscribe to my channel for more great content, and thanks for watching.